Our top story tonight, imagine receiving a $365 electric bill for a three-bedroom house. That's what two Ball State students say happened to them when it came time to pay their bills. News Link Indiana's Alex Almanza is live in the newsroom and has been digging deeper into what is the cause of this. Alex? Yeah, Avery Angelica, it's sticker shock to say the least. These two energy bills that we obtained from the two tenants show double what the previous tenants were paying the same exact month last year. And for the past two months, these roommates have tried reaching out to both the power and rental company, but with a little response. The student you're about to meet told me she's confused and simply looking for answers. It's just kind of disappointment because I'm really excited to be living in a house, but the fact that it was just so much was just really confusing to me. Disappointed is one of many emotions felt when Ball State student Grace Plaskin and her roommate opened their bill for the month of September. Our first bill was around $365 in general. And that was for the month of? August. Okay, and then what about after that, September? And in September the bill was $295. $295. Just for electric. After learning of the sky-high bill, Grace and her roommate reached out to American Electric Power, who said the meters were functioning properly, and to contact the rental company BSU Campus Rentals about the issue. When they told us to contact the residential company, they told us that they would work with the residential company to find a solution, and as far as I know, none of that has happened yet in the time period from when we've called them. So we decided to call BSU Campus Rentals to see if we could get any info on what the protocols are for electric bill disputes. And not exactly a solid answer, but we were told to contact the director of operations via email. But just as we were about to reach out to the director, Grace and her roommate got a phone call from the rental company. The residential company called us and said that they want to take a look at it soon and they know we have a maintenance request open. So how can you avoid a costly electric bill? We talked with veteran electrician Rapid Waters of Waters Heating and Electric to get advice. Occasionally, Indiana Michigan Electric will offer uh, different uh, incentives where they would have a representative come out and check their home out and, and some companies use a, an infrared device that they can tell where heat is lost. Other electricians I spoke to say that if customers ever have concerns about the functionality of their meters, that they should reach out to the power company itself to request an electricity audit. Most power companies will send out a technician free of charge. But for now, live in the newsroom, Alex Almanza, NewsLink Indiana, sending it back to you at the desk. Thank you, Alex.